for a problem like a, again, treating it the same, here's my numerator, my denominator. Well, my numerator, numerator is already written in factored form. So I can just kind of separate this out, applying the power to both the numerator and denominator independently. Okay, but I do need to simplify and combine the denominator into one single fraction. So when I look to do that, I need to establish an LCD, one factor of x plus 3 and another factor of x minus 3 form my LCD. So if I take the numerator of the first fraction, multiply it by the missing LCD factor from this denominator, it's missing an x minus 3, <coughs> plus the next fraction's numerator times the missing LCD factor from its denominator, it's missing an x plus 3. And so if I continue to simplify this, I get x minus 3 plus x plus 3 when I distribute. The 3 and negative 3 cancel, leaving just a 2x over this denominator. So now I've written the denominator as a single fraction. So the, final st or the next step here is to invert and multiply. So if I take my numerator, I invert my denominator. So the 2x moves to the denominator. x plus 3, x minus 3 gets moved up to the numerator. I can now multiply across here, canceling any common factors. So the x minus 3 cancels with one of these. And now if I multiply across the top, I have three factors of x plus 3. So that's x plus 3 cubed. All over, I write my, my monomial factor first, followed by the binomial factor. Hey, now, as far as the domain restrictions, uh, if you recall, one of the things that I try to do when you invert and multiply, you have to pay attention to the entire fraction, numerator and denominator, because no factor of any fraction that you invert and multiply can ever equal zero, the numerator nor the denominator. So when we look at here, the fact that x can't be zero is shown in the simplified form. The fact that x can't be three is shown in the simplified form. But the fact that x can't be a negative three, is that shown in this simplified form? No. So you need to identify that ind independently. And again, it's confirmed right here. If you go back to the original form, <coughs> you see that if x had been a negative 3, you'd get division by 0, which is undefined. <coughs>